Chapter 1. Amazon's Core Values, The Right Employees and Happy Customers The lion's share of Amazon's success comprises its approach to choosing people. The company's hiring culture encourages employers to onboard people whom they admire. To understand whether a person is suitable for the position, Jeff Bezos, Amazon's owner, recommends asking oneself about the admirability of the potential employee, whether they could increase the performance of the team, and what superpower they have. Our vision is to use this platform to build Earth's most customer-centric company, a place where customers can come to find and discover anything and everything they might want to buy online. Jeff Bezos By paying attention to the customer's needs, the platform earns more and more trust, while expanding the variety of assets that one may purchase. As for the year 2000, Bezos announced several goals. Number 1. Increase and bolster connection with consumers. The task was not only to attract more customers, but also to make their experience satisfying enough for them to return. Number 2. Service and assets growth. To encourage their customers to use Amazon more often, the company added more products to have all they want in one place. Such an approach also helped to reduce the expenditures on advertising, since the clients would see new products every time they come for a specific one. Number 3. Work improvement. Amazon aimed to advance constantly. The company worked on delivering faster and strengthening the brand. Number 4. Development on the international level. The company planned on strengthening its stores in Germany and the UK. It also forecasted service provisions to more than 150 countries around the globe. Number 5. Partnership program elaboration. Bezos planned to gain more partners who sell the products that might be interesting to Amazon customers. The partnership not only allows faster expansion, but also helps other businesses to flourish with Amazon's support. Number 6. Ensure profitability in all Amazon businesses. Bezos planned to improve cooperation with suppliers and boost the management of capital. Making a plan will help you move in the right direction. Reading Invent and Wander, the collected writings of Jeff Bezos, will help you understand how Bezos managed to develop such a huge online platform. He shared his motivation, reasoning, and goals which made Amazon as it is nowadays, and his valuable insights will assist in creating and expanding your business. You will look at the world through the mind of a highly successful person who handles international business. Chapter 2. The Best Customer Experience Rate Conferred to Amazon Recapping the results of the year 2000, Bezos considered it harsh for the capital markets. Even though Amazon's shares were 80% lower than in 1999, the company became stronger than ever before. Gross profit in 2000 was $656 million in comparison to $291 million in the previous year. But the most important result for Amazon was that the customer satisfaction rate measured 84, which became the highest rating among all service companies at that time. Bezos also took several risks to improve the company's performance. For example, he put money into wireless and digital technologies. Bezos considered the future of e-commerce more promising than one of the brick-and-mortar stores. Although both would invest in technological development to decrease the prices, online commerce would be more effective in improving customer experience. Bezos was confident that Amazon, as a young brand, could lead the industry because it gave customers the top priority. Since most of the efforts were put into expansion and cost reduction, 2001 became the point when the company finally achieved balance. Bezos could invest in growth and cost efficiency simultaneously. As for the latter, he developed a shipping strategy where people wouldn't pay for transportation if they ordered for more than $99. Such an approach ensures rapid company growth because consumers will always be attracted by price reductions. Amazon was always concentrated on selection superiority. For example, the number of items available in such sections as electronics and kitchen exceeded the quantity of those in a physical store. The customer will more likely find whatever they want on Amazon than in an on-site store. To ensure an even better customer experience, the company added a specific feature that indicates whether a user chose to purchase the same thing twice because people often do so by mistake. What about the books? It was late 2001 when Amazon allowed access to free samples of the books, front cover and back cover to facilitate a selection process. Our consumer franchise is our most valuable asset and we will nourish it with innovation and hard work. Jeff Bezos Amazon constantly worked on eliminating errors that spoil the user experience. By focusing on the buyers, the company managed to understand their needs to satisfy them better. As a result, consumers gain quick service, while the company reduces loss due to unsatisfied customers. Viewing your business from a customer's perspective will help you to sell the items more efficiently. Chapter 3. How Long-Term Thinking Helped Amazon Become an E-Commerce Leader Bezos also shared how to obtain an informed prediction related to cash flows. He indicated that it would be challenging, but one should estimate an organization's past performance and consider scalability and leverage points. For 2002, he planned to focus on generating free cash flow. We are firm believers that the long-term interests of shareholders are tightly linked to the interests of our customers. If we do our jobs right, today's customers will buy more tomorrow. We'll add more customers in the process, and it will all add up to more cash flow and more long-term value for our shareholders. Jeff Bezos Bezos was sure that what was better for customers would not work without being better for investors and vice versa. These two factors are codependent, so if you need to attract shareholders, you should start with satisfying your clients' needs. In addition to an increase in electronics and book selection, Amazon partnered with the best clothing brands so that clients could see more assets in one place. In 2002, Amazon gained an 88% customer satisfaction rate, which made it a record holder again. 
Bezos didn't apply the pricing strategies inherent to most stores because Amazon gives discounts for specific products for only a short period of time, ensuring low prices on a daily basis and a wide product variety. For instance, Bezos compared Amazon's book prices with those of physical stores that belong to major chains. They took prices for 100 bestsellers and found out that with Amazon, people would save $366. This means that if one requires an asset, example, a book, immediately they could pay more in a physical store. So in most cases, it was more beneficial to buy from Amazon. To become a successful business person, one has to develop long-term thinking. Amazon allowed their customers to leave negative reviews as well as positive ones. Despite the unfavorable influence on specific sales, such an option ensures that the customers will choose better products and will be more satisfied. From a long-term perspective, this means that Amazon will be a leading company despite negative reviews because its customers will have a better experience. For a short-term perspective, such an approach may seem unreasonable and costly, but the farther ahead you think, the more profit you will earn. When planning to do something, try to predict the long-term outcomes. Chapter 4. Data and Math Are Your Business's Best Friends Bezos strove to expand the company via free cash flow, which could be done by regulating spending capital and working capital. Amazon stuck to a strategy of rapid stock-taking, obtaining payment from customers before paying suppliers. Efficiently managing share count means more cash flow per share and more long-term value for owners. Jeff Bezos The focus on shareholders helped Amazon to become a company attractive for investing. Bezos considered that doing the math with data was the best way to gain the right vision of Amazon's present, past, and future. He took the opening of a packing warehouse as an example. He usually reviewed the data on existing packing warehouses to measure when the sales reach their maximum. Bezos also estimated which products were supposed to be stored in a new warehouse. He considered weight and size to understand what amount of space would be required. Amazon also examined the locations of the transportation hubs and customers in order to place the warehouse in the most advantageous region. If your company requires a difficult financial decision, the best way to decide is to rely on the data. Bezos also used data to predict how many items would be demanded in the future. He specified that the company tried to produce a minimal amount to reduce prices because consumers wouldn't pay more for storage. He also analyzed which variety of specific products would be most attractive for Amazon customers. He had to make certain guesses in such cases, but still, the primary tool was math. However, for some decisions, Amazon lacked data, so Bezos used judgment. For instance, he aimed to decrease prices on products for as long as possible. But such a solution couldn't be made using math. Bezos revealed that by lowering the prices, he was turning against the reasonable decision to increase prices. After all, lower prices usually encourage consumers to purchase more products. But for some items, lower prices resulted in losses. Bezos believed that decreasing prices is a long-term decision that couldn't be properly analyzed in the near future. Only judgment helped him make this decision, which turned out to be efficient. If you are not happy with judgment decisions, it is better to make only math-based ones. However, Bezos considered that it would be better to take risks from time to time, since risk can lead to innovation. Chapter 5. Small Businesses Make Up a Big Company in 2006, Bezos wrote about the importance of new businesses for the company's growth. Since all Amazon's businesses were successful and applicable to a wide market segment, it was necessary to choose a comprehensive approach while starting a new business. The organization's members had to be convinced that the recent venture would be compatible with Amazon's scale. They also wanted to make sure that this business was underserved and Amazon could ensure that the public would get something unique and qualitative. Bezos shared that people frequently asked him why he didn't open physical stores. He believed that in terms of brick and mortar, businesses were well served and he didn't know which outstanding experience he could provide by opening a physical Amazon. But the company not only sells something you could purchase in a physical shop, it also provides web services to software developers. You know it as Amazon Web Services, or AWS, especially for cloud services. As for 2021, AWS is among the most popular cloud services in the world. In my view, Amazon's culture is unusually supportive of small businesses with big potential, and I believe that's a source of competitive advantage. Jeff Bezos Amazon has a great history of scaling small businesses. This turned into a culture Amazon chose because of great potential, not because of the business scale. Everybody in the organization is happy to see how potential transforms into a successful reality. Bezos specified that it would take around three to seven years to feel the positive influence of new business on the company. Sometimes there may be some expectations, as with Amazon Kindle eBook, which sold out in five and a half hours after making them available. How did it become so successful? Bezos realized that nothing could replace the sensations of reading a physical book. But adding some features that cannot be achieved by traditional reading could make Kindle successful. Amazon ensured that people could review some parts of the book, read feedback from other clients, and gain recommendations about the next purchase. If a reader didn't know the meaning of a specific word, they could immediately look it up on Kindle. Don't try to copy the value of a specific item. Instead, create new values for it, and your clients will be happy to buy it. Did you know, Amazon Whole Foods provides customers with products that do not contain harmful chemicals and artificial sweeteners. The company helps people get healthier. Chapter 6 the importance of being open to experiments. Bezos considered that Amazon is a failure expert, meaning that the company failed many times because innovation requires people to make risky decisions. 
Experiments cannot predict whether the solution will be right or wrong until put into practice. 90% of the time, experiments fail. However, by learning through experiments, business owners gain invaluable experience that will pay off in the future. Most big technology companies are competitor-focused. Jeff Bezos Bezos provides AWS as an example of taking into account the public's needs. For example, customers ask to get more convenient licensing and better prices, so Amazon Aurora, a database service, was created. Experimenting as a company's core strategy of doing business is essential all the way through its existence. It seems reasonable to make risky decisions when the organization is small. But Bezos ensures that risks should be taken when the company is big as well, because business should revolve around the results, not only the process. Bezos witnessed how big companies concentrated on making the process flow properly, instead of considering the outcomes of this process. It's always worth asking, do we own the process or does the process own us? Jeff Bezos. Companies should be attentive to the mood of their clients. Bezos loves that his customers grow their expectations regarding Amazon, as it's human nature to want things better. Business requires people to believe in high standards that differ from one sphere to another. When Bezos started Amazon, he maintained high standards in employment, innovation, and customer experience. He had to learn to examine the process, avoid making mistakes once a problem was recognized, and maintain fixed issues. In 2018, Bezos realized how to keep the high standards of his company by opening physical stores, which he named Amazon Go. As he mentioned before, a sphere in which you would like to do business has to be underdeserved in some way. What image do you have in your mind when thinking about a typical brick-and-mortar shop? Long lines due to slow cashiers and self-checkouts take time. Amazon Go was indeed an innovation of physical stores because customers didn't need to use a checkout. As simple as that, they just walked in, grabbed what they wanted, and walked out. Using the Amazon app, they could enter the store. Cameras and sensors automatically scanned which products clients took and charged them when they walked out. Take a traditional process, resolve a customer's pain related to it by adding innovation, and you will have a successful business. Conclusion Jeff Bezos is an example of a successful businessman who managed to expand his company and increase its performance from year to year. Starting at small scales, he strove to become innovative and created numerous Amazon products used all over the world such as Kindle, AWS, and Amazon Go. What can we learn from his experience? Business is a variable where you should always change something to keep pace with the times. Experiments are an integral part of every development process. Some decisions can be calculated using the data from the company's history, while some can only be made through trial and error. Business owners should be ready to fail many times, but keep searching for the right decisions. Customers and employees are your biggest assets. Companies should thoroughly evaluate whom to hire. For example, look for talents that will fit in, contribute something unique to the team, and be ready for innovations. Your customers are smart individuals who want improvements. Since they are the end users of your products who apply the items in everyday life, they know better what doesn't work for them. So always listen to their feedback and consider it in the future. Don't be afraid to lower the prices. Bezos teaches us to be long-term thinkers. Most likely, in a short-term perspective, lower prices seem to be unreasonable. But in the long run, you will sell more products, gain more customers, and attract more investors. The way you earn trust, the way you develop a reputation is by doing hard things well over and over and over. Jeff Bezos Try this. Write down what business you would like to develop. Include its scale, unique features, and which problems it will resolve. Think about its short-term and long-term prospects. How much profit can it bring you? Which innovations may it require? Read more literature written by business owners to understand how they perceive the world.